Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss about DevOps engineer roles and responsibilities. Deciding DevOps engineer roles and responsibilities is quite difficult because it depends upon what kind of tools you are using. I am explaining in the prospect of my own experience. So you may correlate or change according to your tools or your job roles and responsibilities. So if somebody asks me that what is your roles and responsibilities, I would be explaining like this. Hello, my name is John. I have 4 plus years of experience in IT industry and around 3 years of experience in DevOps and AWS. Currently, I am working in XYZ organization as a DevOps engineer. As part of my roles, I am responsible to set up and manage DevOps CI/CD pipelines. I have used various DevOps tools like Git for version control system, Jenkins for continuous integration, Maven as a build tool, SonarCube for code analysis, Nexus for artifact repository, Ansible for continuous deployment and configuration management, Docker for containerization, and Kubernetes for container orchestration. If you know AWS, then well and good, you can add your AWS skill to your job roles. So, in my case, I may add one more point like, this DevOps environment is running on AWS cloud, which was set up by me according to our DevOps architect plan. Once it is done, you can continue with your previous experience or if you have any additional job roles and responsibilities, you can add it. Sometimes they may ask you to explain more detailed. If that is the case, you need to explain each and every tool and what and all activities you have done. If they ask the same question to me, then I would be explaining something like this. We are using Git as a version control system. Enabling branching strategies like dev, QA, pre-prod, prod branches we create. Managing Git repositories using various Git commands like push, pull, merge, clone, branch, rebase and a few other commands. Managing Git user access, nothing but giving access to specific repositories or specific branches to secure your code. These are the high level activities which you can do in Git. Next to Jenkins, we are using to create our CI/CD jobs. So setting up Jenkins server, master and slave configurations, managing CI/CD jobs, managing Jenkins plugins, nothing but adding additional plugins. Integrating other DevOps tools like Git, Maven, Ansible, SonarCube, Nexus and other DevOps tools with Jenkins. These are the major activities which we can do in Jenkins. Next come to Ansible. Setting up the Ansible control server, nothing but master. Writing playbooks and roles. Managing Ansible hosts. These are the activities we can do majorly on Ansible. Next come to Docker. Setting up Docker environment, writing Docker files, creating custom images, setting up private Docker repository in your environment, creating and managing containers. These are the activities we can do in the Docker. And comes to Kubernetes, setting up Kubernetes environment on AWS or on premises. If you know how to set up Kubernetes on AWS, you can add that, otherwise, you can just say on premises. Writing deployment files and service files. Managing containers on pods. Managing Kubernetes nodes. So these are the activities we can say under Kubernetes. This is according to my current job roles and responsibilities. In your case, you might be using some other DevOps tools or some other way of handling. You need to make a note of the activities. What do you do? And you can tell them detailedly if they ask. Hope this video helps you the overview of how you need to explain your DevOps roles and responsibilities. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.